Hi, I'm Kent Burke. I'm an attorney at the Scottsdale, Arizona law firm of Burke Law Group, where we handle real estate, property, and other types of cases in Arizona. Sometimes we get called where somebody asks whether they have an easement uh, by prescription or an, an easement by adverse possession. Typically, people understand that adverse possession is where you might occupy someone else's property for a long period of time that you might be able to become an owner of that property. Well, that's a very similar concept involved in prescriptive easements. And there's four elements for a prescriptive easement under Arizona law. First, you have to occupy the other person's property in an open and notorious fashion. In other words, you can't do it secretly. You have to be using the property in such a way that the true owner could discover it or knows about it so that they have an opportunity to object. Secondly, you have to do so adversely or hostily and under a claim of right. You don't have to necessarily have bad faith or a hostile motive, but you have to be using the property as though you intended it to be your own. Secondly, or thirdly, you have to occupy the property continuously for the full statutory period. In other words, you can't own the property and use it for five years and then move off and not use it for another three years and then come back and use it for five years. It has to be a continuous, uninterrupted, adverse use of the true owner's property. And then the fourth element is you have to use the property for the full 10-year statutory period, which is the same 10-year statutory period required for claims of adverse possession. Now, the one element that you that is required for adverse possession, in other words, to obtain ownership of property is, that's not required for a prescriptive easement is that the uh, use or occupancy of the property does not have to be exclusive. You can get an easement by adverse possession, let's say for a roadway, even if other parties are using that same roadway. And if you satisfy all four of those elements for the full 10-year statutory period, then you could be eligible to obtain an easement by adverse possession or a prescriptive easement. And typically, if there's a dispute over whether someone gets a prescriptive easement, that claiming party can file a quiet title action in order to have the court declare whether the prescriptive easement was obtained, and if so, the dimensions or area that's covered by the prescriptive easement. If you have any questions regarding adverse possession, prescriptive easements, or other issues involving real estate here in Arizona, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email through our website. Thank you.